Assalamualaikum warahmatullahi wabarakatuh Hello guys, welcome to my video In this video, I will present you um, a material that was really really important related to the grammatical um, competence because a grammatical competence is really really necessary for your writing skill so here we will um, I will present you about this material Nah, here we will learn about an adjectives. Why we have to learn about adjectives? Because adjectives is um, one of an important material in grammar, and it can be related with um, another component of a uh, language sentence that are um, noun or pronoun. So it was really really important for us to understand and how to uh, form a sentence in a complete way so here we will start about uh, with the function of the adjectives adjectives describe nouns and pronouns they present you more information about people places and things for example here we have a beautiful girl so from the example here which one of uh, which one is the adjective of course we have the word beautiful why because um, the word beautiful here uh, are present an information or description about girl and from the example above the adjective is beautiful which describe a noun girl so it can be concluded that an adjective is always located before a noun and pronoun because um, yeah the function of the adjective itself is describing the noun so it is located before the noun in a sentence and then we have kinds of the adjectives the first one is adjective of size some adjectives tell about size of people or thing for example here we have a big house a huge ship a thin boy and a tall building so from the example here which one is the adjective of course from the first phrase we have word big and then huge and then thin and tall which is um, located in the uh, the center after a determiner a uh, and then before the noun of each uh, noun in the phrase next we have adjective of color some adjective style about color of thing for example here we have a red carpet, a gray suit, an orange balloon, and a yellow bottle. Of course, uh, like as well as in the first uh, exam, uh, first adjective of size, the adjective here is also located before the noun. There are, uh, we have a red, gray, orange, and yellow. The next types of adjective is adjectives or quality. Some adjectives tell what people or thing are like by describing their quality. Because um, uh, telling about thing are like, so it can also be an adjective of um, subjective because it is be, uh, based on our perspective in seeing the noun or uh, telling the noun for example here we have a handsome boy a rich couple an old man and a cold weather of course in, the adjective is here and why it called as a subjective adjectives because in telling or uh, stating this adjective it is it's all is based on our perspective a uh, handsome rich is it's all is um, you know like um, uh, relative so 
yeah it is adjective of quality and then we have another types of adjective of origin and some adjectives are made from proper noun of place these adjectives are called adjectives of origin for example here we have an Indonesian costume a Japanese lady an Italian car and a French flag origin um, from where is the thing comes from from the first uh, example we have costume costume is uh, described here is Indonesian so um, the costume here is from Indonesia so the origin of the costume itself is from Indonesia so that's all is about an adjectives of origin and next we have an adjectives of, uh, of substance or we can also call this adjective as material because for example here we have plastic wooden silk and glass which is um, you know like a material of uh, what what was they made of folder that made from plastic and then spoon that made from a uh, wooden and then dress that was made from silk and a door that was made from glass and that's all is about uh, the, the kinds of adjectives for more information you can learn by yourself via exploring in website or another source of uh, material and next I will present you about the order of adjectives why you have to learn also about the order because sometimes several adjectives are used to describe a single noun or pronoun and when you use two or more adjectives the usual order is like um, the following order the first is size and then quality and then color origin and substance for example, here we have a green plastic bottle. A green, green here is a color, and then plastic here is a substance. So, um, uh, this is the or uh, the order that we want to describe about a bottle. Bottle which have a color of green and made from plastic. And then the second uh, one is we have a tall handsome Korean boy of course here we will describe about a boy and what kind of boy here we can describe a boy with um, tall he is a tall and then he is a handsome and he is from Korea because Korean boy so this is um, based on the order of the adjectives and then the next adjective endings yeah and why should we also learn about adjective endings because sometimes adjectives is also comes from another word such as from noun and then from verb like um, why can a verb can be an adjective and why can a noun can also be adjective we can mark with some endings that um, indicate that uh, they are an adjective the first one we have adjective ending full and then o's and y here we have the example a cheerful baby cheer and then with an adjective ending full becomes cheerful so cheerful here also becomes an adjective and then a famous actor famous is from a word fame fame in in bahasa we can um, called as terkenal but when uh, this word give an ending aus 
become famous, it uh, change the function of the word into an adjective that will describe the noun in the end of the phrase. And the next one we have adjective Y. A messy hair. Messy here is from a word mess. In Bahasa we can call the S berantakan. And because the word mess here is um, uh, add with an, an ending Y becomes messy. And it also change the function of the word into an adjective. And then the next one we have less uh, I see I ish able and if for example we have sleeveless national fantastic childish suitable and expensive sleeveless here is from sleeve and then um, add with an ending less national is also from nation and then uh, add with an ending al fantastic child with childish sweet suitable expansive that's all is about an adjective endings and we have also an adject, uh, adjective endings ly ing and ed ly a lovely dress a smiling face a painted wall uh, I want to tell you about an adjective uh, with ending ed. Here, all uh, all of the adjective is of uh, from the word of verb. Yeah, verb. It is uh we can change up into a verb three, but because in the sentence structure here. There are no uh, we, uh, object, eh, I'm sorry, subject, or I, uh, the function of the word here, we can call it as an adjective. But we, if we add the, sent, uh, uh, the phrase here with subject, for example, a, uh, if we change with I, I painted a uh, wall. I painted wall. The function of painted here is no longer an adjective, but is it is as a verb, verb three. But when we use with no subject, we can use the word painted here into an adjective because the painted here is described a noun wall. Yeah, and the last one we have a comparative and superlative adjective. It is uh, from we can take a look at the example from comparative here. Dark into darker. Light into lighter. Happy into happier. But beautiful becomes more beautiful. Why? Um. Beautiful is not beautifuler like um, the example above because comparative form of adjective with three syllables or more, we have to use uh, more blah 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 then. So in a sentence, we can say for example, Lily is more beautiful than Tini. Nah. It is the example of the use of adject, uh, comparative adjectives in a sentence. And then we have a superlative form of adjective. Dark into darkest, light into lightest, happy into happiest, and beautiful into the most beautiful, expensive into most expensive. As well as um, the comparative, superlative form for adjective with three syllables or more. We can use the most and then followed by the adjectives. And for, uh, for example, the use of superlative adjective in a sentence, we have um, 
Lily is the most beautiful girl in the class. So the adjective is the most beautiful and the noun is Lily is, is the most beautiful girl. Nah, the noun here is girl, the most beautiful girl. So that's all is about adjectives that we have to learn uh, in this video. Um, if you have some hesitation or some questions, you can drop your questions in the link, uh, the comments below, and don't be hesitate to ask me anything. And thank you so much for your attention. Thank you so much for your time to watch my video in this um, change in this opportunity. I'm so happy because I can present you this adorable material this um, useful material and i hope it can help you to enlighten or to give more knowledge about um, one of the most important aspects to write or to uh, uh, you know like in grammatical yeah that's all thank you so much and see you in the next video. Wassalamualaikum warahmatullahi wabarakatuh.